The following program contains flash photography. Viewer's discretion is advised. Funny enough, we actually didn't plan it. Yes. She actually didn't know my costume up to this moment. Yes. And I actually don't know her up to this yes. moment. Like everything to tell. Like, I don't even know what it looks like. This is my first time seeing him on this. Even, even in the picture, I, I don't know what it looks like. like. As the popular saying goes, where there is love, there is life. For Damilola and Olushola, the love existing between the duo was explicit as they were joined together as husband and wife in the most spectacular fashion. The day-long spectacular ceremony started with a nikah ceremony, according to Islamic rites, where the couple were charged on the true essence of marriage. <laughs> Moments after the cleric sermon, in the presence of both parents and other well wishes, Damilola and Shola were declared one, which marks the end of the nikah ceremony. Hmm? Ah. Love is like a river that never ends as it flows, but gets greater with time. Event Diary, in an exclusive chat with the latest couple in town, shared the genesis of their love story. Listen to their mouth-watering stories. On the 2nd of January 2014, um, it was actually a celebration day for their family, and I was invited over to come celebrate with them, and I was there. Uh, on getting there, we actually got along, we started dancing together, and that was how it all started, and to the glory of God. Hey. <laughs> I didn't fall for him. A day before, maybe a day before that day, he annoyed me. And I was honestly to say I to him, and he just snubbed. It just snubbed me. Like, it looked away. I was angry. It was actually a plan for me to get out the next day, you know. The first day, he didn't ask me out. He got my pain. <laughs> just my pain. And we started talking. He proposed to me twice. Like one, it wasn't there. It's like he sent his siblings and family and all to propose to me. It would have been so difficult for me, but due to the help of our parents, my parents, my siblings, and even our own siblings too, I was able to execute that. And it's just so perfect. It's just different. Like it's really, really different. Sorry, my color. No, your color. Everything about you. <laughs> Maybe your color too, because I have you're the first person I'm dating, and I'm only saying this thing that I can't date a light skin guy. Like I used to say it, but then I'm getting married to a light skin guy. Like I don't, it's actually I don't know what to say. It's just a very. And I'm very sure you didn't regret it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to give this compliment on a very special day like this that you happen to be the most beautiful woman I ever set my eyes on, and 
if given the opportunity to i would choose you over and over and over and over again <laughs> thank you baby <laughs> Okay, if I come to this world like 20 times, I still to get married to him. Like, it's just, it's just Lighting, sweet. Right. Like, it's just right. everything I want in a man. Now to the grand reception party. Without further delay, the stage was set for the couple's grand entry. Trust Damilola and Ulushola. They put up one of the most breathtaking entry by any couple. Time for one of the most symbolic moments of any wedding reception. For the celebrators, they had a moment to relish for years to come. For the mother of the groom and the bride's father, they had this moment to cherish for years to come.
Olushola, a chorister per excellence, showcased some of his age long imbued talent to the admiration of his beautiful wife and other attendees. Olushola Grace Dabilola's third birthday from the stable of events diary. Listen to the parents. Well, Abi was there when Damilola was celebrating three years' birthday. I mean, it's a surprise to me myself seeing Olu Adamila marrying Olushola today. I mean, God is so, it's just so wonderful. In the next couple of months, I will call you to come and celebrate with me. A bouncing baby boy. I pray to Almighty Allah to grant them safely, safe delivery. And wherever they go, I pray to Almighty Allah to always guide them, protect them, raise their hand, bless them, increase their knowledge, their wisdom. Well, I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't know Today, my young brother is from Lenipe. My young brother is long, but we can't talk about how we can divide. Lenipe, yeah, we move to Beji. No, no, we are not Toto. Benny, Lenipe, we are Toro. Ibuku, Agomagbe, Kiolo, Mami, Fifu. Coffee, Kiolo, no shake, Bekele. We talk about Kiolo, we talk about how we can move to Beji. We talk about how we can move to Beji. We talk about how we can move
climax the wedding reception, the couple performed another cutting of the cake, which marks the beginning of the after party that sent virtually everyone into ecstasy. From us here at Event Diary, we are wishing the couple a happy married life. Happy married life! The traditional marriage between Osulama and Safi went according to custom, as this intertribal marriage was a unique one. After the exchange of letters, which serve as an indication of interest and also an affirmation that the groom's family's proposal has been accepted, the two families dance together. The groom was ushered in by the beautiful wives of the Omor family, while the bride's family welcomed them. The groom and his friends were asked to greet his in-laws according to the Yoruba tradition, and the bride's family prayed for them. Eriyawo is synonymous with the Yoruba tradition and it was beautifully decorated in yellow. The groom couldn't wait for his beautiful bride to come in as she danced in with her friends. The beautiful bride in pink and the Ashwabi ladies greeted the parents as her in-laws unveiled her and she sat with her new parents.
Osilama was asked to pray for his new wife and the exchange of rings was done. <laughs> Then it was time to cut the cake and they fed each other. Pictures were taken with Ashiwaji Bola Hakmet Tunumbu, family and friends. The couple had these to say about each other. I met Osilama at a Shrine nightclub in Chicago and he was stalking me. So I decided to go out on a date with him. He's outspoken, um, dramatic, but loving and caring and protective. Oats is very charming. Yeah. So you didn't give you the second thought at all? No, no second thought. No second thought. No. I expect um, happiness and um, protection in our household, but also a loving husband and future father. Yeah, she's really interesting, but um, you know, she, she blew me off my feet when I first met her. It's funny, she left her, she left her wallet in my car. So uh, all I do is just go through her information and call her. She had to come get her wallet at some point. She had to get her bag and everything. So when she came, then we went out to, um, we went out to a comedy show, you know, and um, it went up from there. You know, I think it's true laughter, you know, we connected. Besides the fact that she's beautiful, uh, she's highly intelligent. You know, she's a very, very smart girl, and um, she's very family-oriented. So those are the values that I love and I care for, you know. And um, it was just a good mix. She has an amazing family. You know. Father also has a great heart, and I love people with good hearts because my family and Bud is that. So um, those were the, one of the key, key qualities. Someone that is down-to-earth that also has a good heart that cares for people, you know, it's always a beautiful thing. Family, friends, and well-wishers prayed and gave them advice. I pray for them that the blessings of God continue to stay with them, that they will be in peace, that their house will be the house of peace and tranquility. I pray for the, the two of them to have a very successful, blissful, and blessed marriage. My only word of advice forever is love. When you have love and then you have God, the fear of God in the midst, I think you are, you are, you, you, you are made for, for life. The major thing is love. Once they are able to love each other they will understand each other, then they will live well. It's been awesome, it's been wonderful, it's been a smart in his choice of wife and um, I believe he's calm in the thinking of how they will be together. But right now, he has a responsibility and may God join them in peace and they will be fruitful as a couple. So I wish him and his wife a happy, a happy a new life and successfully. Thank you. I wish him and Safi um, all the best for the future. Seven, eight, nine kids, whatever it is they want, you know, but just make sure, mainly lots of happiness, lots of joy, lots of success ahead. My prayer that your wedding or his wedding lasts very long and um, stands the test of time because at the end of the day two hearts join together it's not it's not a joke it's the sacrament of holy matrimony and it is important that you understand it and stay together it's not going to be all rosy but it's going to be worth it at the end you are building a family i just wish them a lot of love and you know just to for them to make sure that they keep the communication lines open and they will always be able to get through any hurdles or obstacles or challenges. They shouldn't go into their marriage with any baggage. Their parents, they are baggages. So they should just go as the two individuals that have found themselves that are in love and that want to make 
um, a future together. It was time to marry and dance. 